make a few brief statements and then I'll take a few questions. Uh, I might have to uh, rely on some of the great folks up here in District 6. Uh, got, got the brain trust sitting right here to my left. And uh, these are all good people. These are very, very good people. Uh, some, of, some of the best folks in, 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 the, in the whole state for, for pa being passionate about our roadways and about what they do and taking care of the folks and, and their interest up here. I'm Jimmy Riston. I'm the Commissioner of Highways. Uh, I've been out in Marshall County this morning uh, to look at the roads, just as Governor Justice asked me to. When, uh, when, when your boss asks you to do something, you tend to go do it. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, we've, we've probably driven more than, or probably in the neighborhood of about 50 miles today. We looked at, uh, we looked at several roads. Uh, we looked at several issues on those roads. Uh, and we're, uh, from, I can tell you that I'm very glad, glad to see that I saw a lot of work happening on those roads. So uh, I will tell you that uh, we just updated our list on the, uh, on the website this morning. Uh, that'll be up right now, even as we speak. Uh, the, uh, you can get any county you want, all 55 counties, but in particular, I know you're interested in Marshall County. What you'll see on Marshall County, if you click on that link, is you'll see something that looks a little like this. And that red means that that work has been completed. All, every task in that line has been completed. So, and the little X's tell you that they're, that they're working on those tasks and completing those particular tasks. Those tasks might be mowing, ditching, patching. Uh, they may be, it may be a complete paving job. And then off to the right there, that'll tell you exactly how much purchase order paving has been done on those particular roads. It's, uh, it's pretty user friendly. All you have to do is click on the county you want to look at, and we're going to update that regularly. Uh, I, I, I'd like to tell you we could do it live, but we're not at that point yet, but we're going to update that regularly for you and uh, we'll keep that going. As far as Marshall County is concerned, yeah, the roads are bad up here and we need work to do. Uh, Governor Justice has, has, has a vision. He has, he has a plan for the roads here. He, start, he's, he started putting people in place. He gave us Secretary Bird White, uh, who's, who's an exceptional guy. Uh, he brings a unique perspective to the job. He's, uh, he, he has a financial background. He's operated, he's been a CEO and, operated bigger companies. He also has that local touch. So he's been a county commissioner. Does the same job, he did the same job down there in Raleigh County that you do, sir. So uh, Bird, Bird brings a whole, lot of, a whole lot of diversity to that position. I have been with the Division of Highways for 24 years. Started off in the bridge department in Lewisburg. Uh, I've worked in several positions, came down to Charleston into the engineering section down there in 2004. I've been a regional engineer and a regional project manager for, for the engineering division. And then I moved down there to become uh, chief engineer for Secretary Maddox. Uh, I worked for Secretary Maddox for most of the, his 12-year tenure, which happened to be the longest, longest secretary, serving secretary in the country at the time. Uh, things changed. We've moved on. We, uh, we now are back to our roots. Our governor has told us that the secondary roads are going to be our focus. So we've gotten back to our roots. You can see it in every county. You can see it all over the state that we're working. We've, uh, we've gave you the list. We've, put, we've posted those lists of what we're going to try to work on between now and the end of June. We're going to try to get that work done. We're going to get that work done. Right, guys? Right. Absolutely. So we're going to get that work done. We're going to let you know as we go what work we're getting done. Uh, we're going to do that all over the state for every, all 55 counties. We're going to be posting our plan sometime uh, in July for the rest of the year. And then sometime after that, we'll have a plan for the rest of the time after that. In the meantime, with our solid focus on the maintenance, Governor Justice has told me nothing else, is, nothing else can, can, can fall in the cracks. You know, we, we, we got to get back to our roots with our maintenance. There's no doubt about that. But we still have our roads to prosperity. We're the economic engine that's going to drive West Virginia's future here. The investments that we make in the Roads to Prosperity program is going to lead the economy of West Virginia back to where, back to where it should be. And, and it's working. You've seen it. You've seen it all over the state in the last two years. We're going to continue to put that program out. We're also going to continue to have our regular federal aid funding, funding program running. We're going to have our regular maintenance program running. Everything, all the services we offer are going to go. Is it extra work? Yes. Part of our plan is to gear up. We're, we've been working with our division of personnel and our own human resource people to hire more people 
we come up with uh, with ideas from all kind of places. How to get people in here? How how to get salaries to where they need to be? Maybe how to get uh, how to get things enough people to do the, the enormous amount of work we have to do. And I don't have to tell you about the enormous amount of work we have to do. You can see it right here in Marshall County. You can you can see it. I saw it this morning. I traveled 50 miles today looking at work that needs to be done. It'd be great if we could get it done this afternoon. But that's not going to happen. It's going to take us a little while. We're going to get it done, though. Uh, I can tell you today, the uh, we're going to work on 35 different routes between now and the end of June in Marshall County. 35 different routes. That's, a, that's the right number today. Right. That means that that's going to be more than 175 miles of maintenance work, prep work for paving, purchase order paving. Uh, that's more than 80 miles of patching. It's going to be more than 25 miles of mowing, it's 40 miles of ditching, it's 25 miles of shoulder stabilization, bank stabilizations, and it'll be more than five miles of regular concrete or regular contract paving, as I understand. Now keep in mind, that's not the only work going on up here. We also have a slide program going on that we, we are desperately trying to, trying to catch up on, desperately. Uh, we looked at a lot of those slides today. Yes, they're a problem. Uh, I, I discovered a few little uh, clogs in the pipes, maybe, where we can maybe get some of, those, some of those moving a little quicker than we normally have. Many of these slides were from flood events from 2017, 2018. Uh, we're, we're, we're certainly aware of that. Governor's aware of that. He, he saw those same things I did. You know, when you go out and you see a two-lane road, you can only use half of it. Uh, that, that's a problem for him. And he, he sent me up here to have a look to see what we can do about fixing that. Uh, I, I think we can solve this. Can we fix all of these slides up here today or next week or tomorrow? No, but we're going to fix a bunch of them. We're going to, we're going to fix a lot. The uh, four particular roads that we looked at today were roads that we had, uh, had, had I had received information that everybody had some concerns about. Uh, three of those roads are clearly on the list between now and uh, the end of June. And actually, two of those roads are being worked on today. I saw, saw some of that work. The, the other one, I believe that, is, uh, that, that was the road where there's a coal mine that's basically got some of, the, uh, some of their operations. They're going to shut down their operations. And as soon as those operations shut down, we're going to move in there. And I'm not sure if I counted correctly, but I looked at almost a dozen sites on that road for, for slides and slips. Does that, does that sound right? So I would say, I would say, just for the sake of discussion, dozen a dozen sites there that need to be fixed, and, and those are those are in the plan. Well, they're a priority too. Uh, what else can I tell you? Where's where does where does Sally's backbone lie in that in that protocol? Sally's backbone was was one of the one of the roads that we drove today. Uh, Dave, tell me exactly what tell 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 the commissioner exactly what you're doing up there and, and when you're going to do it. Well, we don't have any specific plan. Can we talk about the big slip? I said. Right. Yeah, that that one just came in. I mean, you know, we hope to, um, you know, we'd love to fix up with our own forces if we can get you know, get things lined up where we can get a, a drill rig around it. We can maybe do that ourselves. That's not part of any FEMA disasters, so it's not currently coming. So that's, that's one that that's one of the ones that I came right. up here to look at. Right. It, 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 that's it's a lot. It's on the federal highways money list. That, I think that is uh, the I new think one. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, we told I'm, you wrong. Did I'm we, sorry. We we told you that. Well, I went out and did the GPS on that, and mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I didn't uh, email everybody back. But I think that was on our our list. It didn't look that bad then, but there was okay. a crack in the road, and uh, it was. See that 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 that's part of the deal. Okay. So I'm sorry. We gave you that information. We didn't. And, that, and that, that one was after we after I located it, I GPS it. It didn't match up. Okay. That, that is that part of the difficulty. Is is you know when bad when something bad happens, it never, it never heals itself, and bad things never get better with age, and that, that that's exactly what happened. You had a small slip there, and then a few weeks ago it just kept getting bigger and bigger, and now it's a big problem. So that's exactly right. I'm very glad to hear though that that will be uh, that will be eligible for for some federal aid funding because that'll make my job easier to get that moving a little quicker. Uh, I would think that there's no way that we'll get that fixed by the time school is, school is out, and I think everybody can understand that. Uh, school's out here at the end of next month. So that's probably not gonna happen. It may be the wisest thing to do is to make sure that we have 
the safety devices that I saw out there, and it looked pretty good. I actually saw most of the people were local. Uh, most of the people were the oil and gas folks, and they're aware of it. They seem to be moving through there fairly safely, and I, and I appreciated that. But I think, uh, I think once school goes out, we'll have a plan and a schedule for that one, and you'll see that as a priority very shortly, too. Dave, hey, was, was Grandview Road on, on, did you look at that today? We did not. Okay. I, I, we've been out there recently, and we actually have an estimate to, uh, to work that this way. Okay. That, that, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I understand the, the situation you're in. You don't have enough people to do what you need to do. But our, our biggest concern is, is the fact that these slips have, have occurred, but they're not done slipping. Oh, okay. You know, we, uh, you know, how, how much, I, I, you know, we just hate to think about what it's going to be in two months. Uh, because it's, it, you know, and part of the component there is I think everybody realizes is the heavy truck traffic. But I, so I don't, you know, you've got a, a, a true job ahead of you, but it's just, and we wish you that, that everything goes well. It just, uh, but we just are concerned with the situation we're in. Uh, your concern, duly noted. And we, we're, we're concerned too. You know, this is our this is our job. Our job is to protect not only your family and you when you're out there on these roads, but our families. They drive on these roads too. Our wives, our children, uh, our cousins. Our, our our families drive on these roads too. We care every bit as much, and I know we care every bit as much as you do about these roads, and and, and the governor does too. I'm, I'm telling you, you, you have a real, you, you have to really understand the, the the governor justice that I've come to know. He's a big, big man with big, big vision, and I'm going to tell you, he's got a big, big heart in there too. And when he tells when he tells me to do something, it's not a matter of whether I want to or not. I'm going to go do it. It's just that simple because I trust him, and I trust his vision. And I trust where he's trying to take this state. And I care about this state. Lived here my entire life. My family's been here since the early 1800s. I want to stay here. I want my, my, the next generation of residents to stay here. Maybe there's another commissioner of highways in the line down the road somewhere. But we've, uh, we've, we've got to work together. We've got to, uh, we've got to tackle the problems. We have really defined the problems out here enough. We get it. We know, that we know what's wrong. We need to work on it. Now we need to work on the solutions. We need to take these opportunities that we've been granted to make things better and do just that, make things better. Work together, talk to each other. Uh, you, you see a problem, let us know. These guys are responsive. I know every time I call up here, every time I tell them I'm coming up here to talk about something, they're ready to do just that. I, real, I, I, I flew in here this morning at 9 o'clock and they were chomping at the bit to get me out there to show, show me those sites out there. Uh, we, we, we had a lot of conversations. We covered a long range. Uh, Tony, the maintenance engineer up here, we talked about everything from design work to disc force crews to FEMA issues to federal aid issues. Uh, you, you couldn't imagine. These guys are plugged into their job. They're good at it. They're very good at it. We can't do this without these guys. But we're going to we're going to do this because they're with us. They're every one of them are with us. I'll take some more questions. Were so, you surprised? I know you've seen pictures and things like that, but were you surprised at some of the conditions of the roads as you got to see them with your own two eyes? No, and I'd like to dispel that right now. You know, to, to think that, that that last week was the first time I was ever in District Six is really silly. I mean, it's just silly. Uh, I've been with the Division of Highways for 24 years. I was the, I, I was the Chief of Transportation Engineer under Paul Maddox and under Secretary Smith. And the truth of the matter is I had been all over this state. Uh, in, the, in the year, or just a little more than a year, that I had been actually using the vehicle that I drive, there's over 52,000 miles on that in just a little over a year. Uh, no, I'm not surprised. We have, we have issues, and we're working on those issues. We, we, are, we have really lost our way in, in, in the Division of Highways. We lost our way. We, we, we thought we could go out there and get a big bunch of money and do a big bunch of great big projects and make ourselves look like New York or California or someplace, and that's not who we are. Who we are, the Division of Highways, is a maintenance operation. It's a maintenance organization, first and foremost. No, this does not surprise me. You get the kind of climate we have. You get the geology we have. 
You get, I, I'm going to tell you, I've been, I've been in Marshall County many, many times. I've been in District 6. I couldn't begin to tell you how many times. It does not, it does not, it didn't surprise me. It's not surprising anybody. The level of how fast things can, can, can degrade, that can surprise you. You know, you, like, like you said, just that, that slip that we talked about a little, a little earlier, uh, that slip <clears throat> occurred probably two years ago, and then, and then just, just months goes by and it's 100 feet longer. A few months goes by and there's, it's another 50 feet longer. Uh, we've, had, we've, had, we've had a lot of rain events. We've got a lot of traffic on these roads. We've got geology that's different all over the state. Uh, the, the geology over here in Marshall County, very different than it is over in Berkeley County or Jefferson County or Grant County or uh, Ritchie County. It's, it's a completely different ball game. So that's why you have to have these local guys so plugged in and that, that's why they do such a good job is because they live here. When you talked about um, some of the discussions that you've had today, like the FEMA and the heavy highway funds that we've received through the 17 and 18 events, um, and maybe expediting that, what's your plan to expedite? Okay, well, for one thing, uh, we've, had, we've had such a volume of work due to, due to, due to, trying, to trying to get the economy stimulated is that a lot of the design work gets backed up. And it, design work, engineering part of the design work, really hardly ever holds up a project. Typically, it's, the, it's things like the environmental clearances, it's utility work, and it's right away. And when those things get hung up, those things are always out of a project manager's control in highways. So those things, those things you have to build relationships to get those things good. You have to have good, good contacts with your resource agencies. You've got to have good partners on the utility side. You've got to have, you've got to have environmental folks that know how to read a regulation that stands, that's about that thick from the federal government, and then you have two federal governments involved when you have a flood event like FEMA, and then you have FHWA, and maybe their regulations are a little different, their way of doing things are a little different. So one of the, one of the strategies is, and, and we've, been, we've actually been discussing this with FEMA and the FHWA, is maybe that they can get their processes a little closer together. So that's going to help us tremendously. Uh, another thing we can do is we can get a little more focused. We can, we can start finding our way back to what we do best and just get the work done. Stop managing these projects on a risk basis and get it to where it's operations management. I don't need Dave up here as a district manager to worry about what the liabilities might be if he bends a federal rule or something. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that with the, with the high level administration. What I want him to do is find a way to get the work done. That's what he's charged to do. That's what he's all, his whole staff is charged to do. Find a way to get the work done. Find a way to get it done ethically and lawfully, but don't quit the first time you run into an obstacle. It's very easy to do that. It's very easy to do that. That's, that's a good lesson you can learn from our governor. He takes it on the chin every other day, and then every other day he gets up, he steps, steps right back up for another one. He, he, he's a problem solver. We need, we, need, we, need to, uh, we need to support this vision of his, and we need to all get together and support that together because that's our future. This is, this is where we're going. That's our future. He will lead us to where we need to be, and I will take these great people, and we'll get these roads fixed. We will get these roads fixed. Has there been anything since this morning that's going to be added to that list that we've already received? I think obviously I'm go we're going to try to see what we can do about the slip that we talked about for sure. Uh, I really don't want to, uh, to deviate from our plan any more than we have to. Any plan could, could use a little tweaking from time to time, so I'm not going to tell you it's not going to get tweaked. It very well could. But if you guys, if, if, if everybody, all the citizens in the state, give us till June 30th, I'm giving you everything we're going to do. Judge for yourself how, whether it's working or not. Have a look at what we've done since, since we started this focused maintenance attack here. Give us to the end of June 30th. Judge us then on what we've done. From that day forward, then we're, we're, we'll, we'll be planning. We'll give you the plan for the rest of the year. Be a good time for your input at that point, too. But uh, I, let us work the plan. Uh, the, the county guys that, that, that I met with today, you know, that's one of the awfulest things in the world is that they get out there and they come in the morning at 7 o'clock and they've got everything ready to go and they jump in the truck and they go out and they get nine-man crew out there taking care of a ditching operation. 
You get a phone call and you have something that's completely on the other end of the county. Two guys have to take off and go over there and take care of that. Next thing you know, there's somebody on the other end of the county and they have to, when all you have to do is stick with your plan and then go take care of that. As, as you have to prioritize. You have to plan, you have to manage. It's a simple matter of logistics. Do what you do best. These guys are trained engineers. These guys are trained technicians. These guys are trained transportation managers. They do a good job at it. They know how to get the right people in the right place at the right time with the right stuff doing the right thing. They just are. That's, that's what they do. Commissioner, uh, I'm sorry, I'm late. Mike Farrow. Mike, how are I'm you? I'm a county commissioner now, former delegate. And um, good to see just you. thank you for coming. Uh, but but I want, what I want to ask is, and I know that uh, with regard to personnel, we're low. Yes. What can we do about recruitment and retention um, in, in, in the uh, Department of Highways? Obviously, pay is an issue, a big issue. And, um, and if, if <coughs> raises are promised, have they been given out to everyone, every member? Of the Department of Highways, we we, we we always keep our promises as far as races are, are concerned. But uh, I, I'm, I, I can tell you what we've done so far is we've been working very very closely with the DOP and our our human resource person in the Division of Highways. Uh, I've been very fortunate. I, I've had uh, I had Dream Smith working as as a acting in that in that capacity, and Dream has been with Highways for 41 years. Everything that you could possibly ever see, she's seen it. She's our local historian right there next, next in the office next door. But we've hired a, we, we hired a new HR director, and uh, he's been with us about three months now. And him working directly with the DOP, we, we actually have, we think we speeded up the hiring process, which is a whole lot of the problem. If you're, uh, if you're looking for a job and it takes you six months to get it, <laughs> you're just too late. So yeah, you're gonna find something. Issues before, was so, it I mean, and it, it, it's right, but we, rather than wallow that around, we attack it. We work together. Uh, the governor's office brought us together, the DOP, and that we, we, we examined the legislature, the legislature where we got the relief from, and boy, we're so grateful for that. And uh, we saw exactly what, what our responsibilities were, and, and then we started looking for the opportunities to work together. And, and that's what our governor did for us, is he put us together so we could, we could, we could actually work on the problem rather than worry about whether we was being part of it. So then, then, then once that happened, I think we started seeing some better things happen. But we, we, we've done job fairs all over the state. We, we've got ideas for more job fairs. We've got places we can look for other folks. But let me make something clear. And, 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 let's just, and, and this is just me telling you. I, I've, got, I've got five Division of Highways folks sitting right here. I guarantee you none of them five are here for the month. Every one of these guys can leave here this afternoon and go to work next Monday and double their salary. Every one of them. They're that good, and there's a market for them out there. That's, that's the culture that we need to build in the Division of Highways. We need to get back to those roots. We need to do, we need to do it at the commissioner's level. We need to do it at the division level. We need to do it at the district level, and we need to do it at the county level. And I, from what I've seen, I've, I've been around with a lot of the county folks. I, I've seen they appreciate and they're, they're working hard and they appreciate having support from the highest levels of government down there. And that's exactly what they got. When Governor Justice brought them in, uh, brought the county supervisors in, told them point blank. I mean, uh, you, you could say it was a lot, of, a lot of hoopla for 15 minutes. It doesn't, take more, it doesn't take much time to communicate what you want done and to show somebody that you're sincere in your support for them. He asked them. They're, those are the guys to ask. They're out here on the roads. They know these roads better than any of us. So that's how we got our. That's how we got our list. That's how we got our priorities. Uh, we we work, They worked with the district folks. That's how we got the cost that we needed to, for the additional funding that we'd have to pay for. Uh, that's exactly what, what what what. How long does that take? You know, I I, there, I, I have standing rule since I've become commissioner, and I, I, it's really been a life rule for me all along. But now I have the authority to make it happen. I tell everybody that I gained my engineering degree and my engineering training in 50 minute increments. That's what a, that's what a college class typically is, 50 minutes. So there's no reason in this world for me to apply in anything other than 50 minute in increments. So if I sat down to have a meeting, uh, at 50 minute mark, we should be we should be taking what we've got from that meeting and go do something. Go do something. Go put something on the ground. 
But we're working on it. We're working on it hard. And it's getting bad. It's getting bad. And just to add to that, we actually were able to uh, get what, three or four hires in uh, Marshall County. Actually, started yesterday. Very good. Two, two more boots on the ground. We had, you know, we tried to get about seven, and we got I think four to show up. So you know, we're making a little progress. I, I'll, give, I'll give you a case in point. The gentleman sitting right here, he worked for the oil and gas industry. Been back with us for three and a half years. You make more money in oil and gas? <laughs> He's been back with us for three and a half years. Please come a long ways. I'll take all your questions. What were the three roads that you looked at today that were on, that are on the list from now, between now and June? I, I left the map in the car. Dave, would you tell me? Uh, we looked, we looked at Great, Big Grave Creek, Fish Creek, Roberts Ridge, Sally's Backbone, Taylor's Ridge. The, 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 the four that we got the communication that, 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 that we had concerns about. We, we traveled just probably just short of 50 miles today. Takes a long time. It, it, it does. Uh, it but you know what? Uh, I, I, I got to tell you, once we get these roads where they should be, there isn't much more beautiful place than Marshall County in the spring. I'll tell you that. I, I saw cat cattails growing up on, on top of hills. That's something you don't see down south anyway. <laughs> you see them in the swamps and the, and the wet places. Up on the hillsides, I saw cattails today. That amazed me. That's that absolutely amazes me. <laughs> but but it's beautiful up here. I mean, it, it really is. And and you can take heart. You know, the the, the oil and gas industries. That you know, these these things come and go. Back in the 1930s, in, in the area that I grew up in, down in Raleigh, Fayette County, the uh, the gorge down there, that was mined one mine right after another. It looked uh, looked terrible. You know, it, it was just terrible. Today, you get down there. It's it's a national park. We've got a world-class bridge across the gorge down there, and you can drive across that bridge and look down in there. And nature has come back down there. It'll do. It'll do the same thing up here one day. Uh, and and to be honest with you, you can't you can't diminish the beauty of, of that area up here anyway. It is it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I enjoy coming up to this area. On the uh, on the US 250, I know there's some areas on the US 250. With that U.S. designation, does that uh, qualify you for federal help there as well? It does. I mean, it may not be part of the E, and I'll, I mean, Tony or Chuck, or Chuck may know more, but it slips out there. I'm not sure if they're part of the, the uh, federal highway disaster or not. There's a number of, uh, yeah, I was going to say a, a lot of the slips that, that uh, I'm hearing about or, or seeing the pictures of are basically slips that are in the, the FEMA or the federal highways that we're getting to. And, and lots of times when we're talking about the county work, you know, that's kind of separate of the, of the slips and the design because the county's really not involved in, in, in that part of it. So I, I know when we're looking at the roads, we're seeing those slips and that's a lot of the focus of how bad the road is. Um, those are the majority of those and, and I can, almost to the place now, I need to go out and stake out the ones that are from the ones who aren't. Uh, that a lot of those are going to be addressed. A lot of the ones on Sally's backbone, the really bad one. Uh, there's a couple others. Previous, the previous disasters, I think, are design work is already it's it's already being out the bid and ready to go. I mean, there's three um, others on that road. Yeah, and there's a, a number of others that on that road too. I mean, when I look at like County Route 21, the list for federal highways is like like 12. There, for, there's for, a large number. For, um, we all know that. We all know uh, that. For 74, it's just a matter of getting focused. 12. And, and, and no. make it, make it any, other, any of our processes that aren't doing, doing things with what we need to do, then we need to change the process. Uh, but when those happen, those are going to happen all quickly at one time. The, the soil nails are now in full bloom now that the weather's out for our, 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 for our uh, FEMA sites. So I, I think, I think that's quickly. absolutely true, Chuck. I think once, uh, once, once we get a few days like today back to back, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see even. You're gonna see even more focused. You're gonna see even more so, energy up here on these roads. So, are you, Chuck, to get that work completed? Um, and we're gonna have our other crews already working on this other list. Are you gonna be hiring contractors to come in and do so, that work yes. to get it done? The, the federal highways and the FEMA, the soil nails are done by a contractor. We only supply one or two guys with that that crew. The and the 
federal highways are all contract work totally, except a, a few instances where we'll have our discourse crew with the oh, rig yeah, do some good. of those. We, we have a lot of tools at our disposal. We just have to pick the right I just want to make right sure spot. I understand logistically sure. how it's going to work because we get asked these questions. But the, the ditching, mowing, and patching, that's kind of Separate. that's the county work that you're seeing on those lists over mm -hmm. there. So, the, you know, some of the, the, the timing mm -hmm. jobs, the soil mill jobs, they're really not on that list because that was the core maintenance plans. The other is kind of you know, it's disaster work. I what, guess you have to design. What do you think? How much design work is being completed on how? I mean, how many projects? Oh, that, oh that is, there's over two hundred. There's over two hundred in Marshall County. We have almost fifty on the that are federal highway mm -hmm. slips that are being worked on right now. So those are all under design, getting designed right yeah, now. Yeah, fifty. Yeah. And those, you know, will be a, probably a, a, a variation of contract and maybe some of our. I think there's a hundred and fifty-six. <laughs> We're trying to get, but you know, it's the same thing like Chuck said. You know, when we do soil mill projects, you know, we have a contractor that does most of the work, but we have to provide manpower to help to assist them. So, you know, we have to take people from our county organization to do that, or from our discord organization. To do that. Now, I won't hold you to this, but I'm just, just hypothetically, given that we get some good weather, um, just an average weather pattern between now and the end of June, how many do you think, how many of those will actually, slips will actually be able to be fixed? It's not to pin down an exact number just I, I'm because just, of I, how long. I'm not going to tie you to it, but I mean, <laughs> if you could give me some I mean, some idea of what you think might be able to be accomplished. Well, we have what? Two, give me low end. We have one, one Marshall County, a, 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 a day, or we still have the Marshall County guys working with a soil mill crew here. Yeah, and I think once it finishes up here soon, we might be able to get another crew. I mean, we can, with two or three crews in Marshall County. So does your District 6 crew go around and work on those specific items? Is that what you're saying? If we can get, to, usually on a soil nail project, lots of times, it can be from four days to, to 10 days. Okay. They, they go very quickly. Mm -hmm. So basically with three crews, if we can get three crews in the Marshall County working, or at least two crews, you're, you're going to be knocking out two a week, I would say, on average. Because okay. so some are waiting four days to get a week. that crew we have to one Marshall crew. County? We have, we have a crew working. Marjorie. Okay. Right. Okay. We actually visited them today. Um, and Where are they at today, Dave? Aston Ridge. Aston Ridge. Okay. And Aston Ridge is a little longer than a week. Okay. <laughs> so they, I mean, that's, yeah. that's an average. It will be, but, but you have to understand the complexity. Let me let me see if I can explain this to you. If you have a FEMA project, hey, I, I work for the federal government. I, I get, I got you. Yeah. If you work for a FEMA, if you if you do a FEMA project. You can, you can use your purchase order contracts. You can use your state forces. You can use a combination of them. You don't really have any difficulty with that. You get the work done. You, you pay for the work. Right. You pay for it up front. I get it. Maybe two years from now, you'll get your money back. Mm -hmm. But now, if you, have a, if you have an ER job, what we call an ER job, it means it's on a federal aid route, and it's going to be reimbursed by the FHWA. Those projects, I can't use the soil mill folks on those. That's a proprietary system. The federal government will not allow me to use those. So I have to, I'm, I'm, I'm constrained a little bit there. I can only use our forces, or I can use a contractor, and I can use standard pile walls, or I can build sh uh, shop rock gut buttresses. I can do things like that. In the meantime, once again, I can do whatever I want there, get the contract out. It takes a while to get a design plan together that I can give to a contractor that, quite frankly, that he won't take, take, that he won't take us to the, to the cleaners on. If I don't do that, take care of every detail in that plan. So I have to be very careful with that. And then we have a process for getting that out, advertising and accepting the bids and we award. How long is that does that process once the design is completed? Once the design is completed, it, it could take as much as three weeks or as little as three weeks. It could take as much as 60 days, depending on the type of project, the size of the project, the complexity of the project. Uh, uh, our spec book is this thick. We have. Uh, special provisions that are like this thick. We have supplemental spec book that also goes along with that. Uh, we have special things that are that are involved. Maybe there's a railroad uh, under the under the bridge we're wanting to replace, and maybe it'll take six months to get that railroad agreement uh, took care of. Uh, I read an article not not very long ago that basically told me that just an environmental clearance, and, and I'm talking about the NEPA process, could take as long as 12 years for a large project. So. 
it, it's, it's almost like we're shooting ourselves at the foot. And if we were, we're being ex our highway dollars and our transportation funding is being extorted at every level that we have to deal with. That, that, there's no other way to put it. It's extortion. We're, we're, it's environmental extortion. It's utility company extortion. Everything you want to talk about, uh, from the historical society to. And you're done now. I get you. <laughs> it, it's extortion. There is no other way to put it. Highway dollars are meant to be put on the roads. That's where they need to go. So, you know, it, it, folks with other agendas, you know, need to find their own funding for their agendas. So it's fair to say that the design work has started for a third of the slips in, that we have in the county. Is that fair? Well, actually, well, they're all kind yeah, of I think we've all, all kind of got them started now. Started in the yeah, the, the, these guys don't work linearly and they don't work sequentially. <laughs> they, one one designer may have ten projects he's working on simultaneously. Yeah. So yeah, most of the design says designs are started on most of the slopes in the entire district. And, and like I said, I mean, kind of a quick answer. Like Chuck said, it's with you know, good weather and a lot of things. You know, not too big of a slide. We could probably knock one of those, you know, the the B or the uh, FEMA type soil bed repairs in about a week. Well, we're coming up on the 50 minutes that I warned you about. So, uh, so let me tell you, uh, I'll make one final statement. We have great leader. We have great leader. He has a great vision. We execute this vision, we're going to prosper. It's that simple. But it's that simple. That's all we have to do. Plan our work, work our plan, and we're all going to be better off. We're all going to be better off because we're going to have good roads to drive on our economy. It's going to stimulate our economy beyond belief. Let's go to work, guys. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. We covered up here, sir.